I don't like hate bandwagons. You know, when everyone collectively decides to relentlessly hate on one thing, not necessarily because they actually dislike it, but because everyone around them is hating on it too. I saw this with Fortnite, I saw it with TikTok, and I see it with 100 Gex. Now, I'd heard part of Money Machine before, and I really hated it, but that's just one part of one song, and I wanted to be fair and at least give them a shot before forming an opinion on them. So I went to Genius.com, and I decided to listen to their top five songs there. I wish I just jumped on the hate bandwagon instead of putting myself through that. I've heard some people say that 100 Gex sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks, and I feel that that is an insult to the Chipmunks. I feel that 100 Gex sounds more like a poorly made dog whistle that isn't actually too high pitched to hear, but it's definitely high pitched enough to make your ears bleed and give you minor brain damage. Anyway, I want to go through the five songs that I listen to one by one and talk about them individually. So I'll just, uh, you know, do that now. My boy's got his own ringtone. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I know. Out of the five songs I listen to, this is probably the best. It still isn't good, but the first half of it is somewhat bearable, likely because everything that makes 100 Gex the way they are is dialed back. The instrumentals sound like they were made on Earth and by people who aren't deaf, and the lyrics are at least intelligible. After that, it sounds like an ear rape edit from 2018, so it goes downhill pretty quickly, which is very bad considering it was never really on the hill to begin with. I said nothing's new, nothing's changed, need you. To understand what the beginning of this song is like, imagine if Billie Eilish tried to make hard rock after inhaling lethal doses of helium. The end of the song sounds like if someone was choking and drowning at the same time while Satan himself was midway through possessing their body. I also could not understand a single word past the first seven or so lines, so I looked them up and, well, imagine the most brilliant line in any song that you've ever heard and just make it the exact opposite way and just keep doing that over and over and you basically just rewrote this song. I swear some of the lyrics were made by using a random word generator and then making a half-hearted attempt to connect whatever you got back to horses because they are not good whatsoever. According to Genius.com, this song is either meant to be a critique of capitalism or meant to be about mugging your heroin dealer, but I'm not getting either of those from this song. I think it's just about gambling and horses. The chorus is just the same two lines repeated over and over again, and it goes for way too long, and the lines aren't even good to begin with. It's like if the plot of Groundhog Day happened on 9-11. I was trying to find a way to get on. I wish my skull was crushed by a mallet. This song basically sounds like it was made by a 14-year-old who thinks they're going to make it big on SoundCloud. They also put in the bass so badly, it overpowers the lyrics for a good bit of the song, so you can hardly even hear what they're saying when you're focusing on it. But honestly, that's probably a good thing, because the lyrics are just bad. I don't even have anything remotely clever to say about them. They're just not good. There are a few reasons this is the song I decided to talk about last. It's their most popular song by far, I would consider it to be the quintessential 100 Gex song, and it's also the worst one, by far. I'm honestly hesitant to call this a song, because I legitimately don't know if it can even be considered music on a basic level. It's so aggressively unmusical, and it's not in a cool subversive way, nor is it in a funny way, it's just painful to listen to. Even after listening to the song multiple so times, and reading the lyrics, and reading the official commentary for the lyrics, I cannot for the life of me figure out what this song is about. There are two verses which don't seem to relate to one another, or to the chorus, whatsoever. They also said that they don't know for sure what a money machine is, 
and the fact that they don't actually know for sure what the title of their most popular song means just makes so much sense. So those are basically my thoughts on that. I would say that 100 Gex killed Art, and I will, 100 Gex killed Art, and they've been mutilating its corpse ever since.